Hey guys, Vladimir here, and I've just had an aha moment with Fusion 360 that is just too good not to share. If you've ever worked with text before, you've probably come across this very frustrating problem where the text uh, sometimes comes in reversed or upside down, and you just can't figure out how to get it to be in the proper orientation. Well, I found a workaround that I'm going to show you. So first, let me explain the problem. So I'll go ahead and click on Create Sketch here and choose my ZX plane. Uh, I'll go to Sketch, choose Text, and click anywhere to start typing. I'm just going to type the word text. Notice that it comes in upside down. I can try to turn this little widget. It's right side up, but it's reversed. Um, so you know, you'll probably try to do something here to turn it, and it's just uh, just frustrating. I, I you know dealt with this problem before, and I know it can be a pain, but I did find a workaround so and it seems to work with every situation I've tried so far um, here it is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit R for rectangle draw a rectangle and then I'm gonna go ahead and extrude that rectangle out to create this body now I'm gonna go ahead and create a sketch but instead of choosing that plane I'm gonna choose this surface it's really the same plane because uh, this surface is created on this particular plane, but it's all about just what you reference, right? So I'm going to choose this, uh, create sketch and choose this surface on the actual body. Now when I go ahead and go to sketch text and I start typing my text, T-E-X-T, uh, there it is. It's just the way you would expect it to be, right? So let's show that first sketch. Uh, this one was backwards. Um, well, it was backwards and upside down, and this one's perfectly fine. So I've tried this in, in numerous and different planes and, and different examples, and it seems to work every time. So let's look at a practical example. I'm going to pull my spinner design here. And what I want to do with this is put my website right on this curved surface. So the way that I would tackle that is I'd create a sketch on this mid plane here. So if you take a look at that, it cuts this design in the middle. Um, so I'm going to click on that and go ahead and go to sketch, text, and type my website name, which is desktop makes. Um, again, notice the problem. It comes in upside down, reverse. So I'm going to go back into that sketch here. I'm going to double click. Oh, I'm, I'm still in the sketch. Um, so let's go ahead and hit R for rectangle. And we'll hit E for extrude. Bring that sketch back. And let's extrude that rectangle out. And we'll make this. Um, it doesn't matter what we make it. So what I'm going to do now is create a sketch and I'm going to choose that surface. And we'll go ahead and go to sketch, text, and then we'll try this again. I'm going to type desk, top, makes, and voila, there we go. Perfect. So now I'm going to just change my height to 5. Uh, I'm going to move this down and just position it. Just going to eyeball the position, click OK, and click Stop Sketch. Look at my front view. So this looks fine when I'm in the sketch. It's actually centered pretty well, but when I click Stop Sketch, it looks like it's off. It's really not. I'll give you a quick tip here. If I go to Camera, um, change it from Perspective, and I'm going to go through Perspective with Ortho Faces. Um, there we go, now I get that orthographic view. So just a, an aside tip there. Okay, so now I don't need to see this body anymore, so I'm just gonna click on body two and go to remove. And I'm gonna choose my text, hit E for extrude. I'm gonna change the start option here. Uh, it's currently set to profile plane, but I'm gonna switch it to from object. And my object is going to be this surface here. And my distance, since I want it engraved, I'm going to do a negative 0.6 millimeters. And we'll change this will should automatically change to cut because I put negative and click OK. 
and there we go so it's just I don't need to see the sketch anymore so perfect did the job and since I want these on all three sides I'm just gonna go ahead and go to uh, create uh, choose a pattern circular pattern uh, pattern type I'm gonna go ahead and choose features choose that extrusion from my timeline axis is going to be my Z axis here and three iterations is what I want so I'm gonna click OK and there we go that did it so just to sum it up a quick workaround through the whole sketching issue um, where I'm sorry the text issue where your text just is not coming in right simple solution uh, create a rectangle extrude it choose that surface of that rectangle as your plane and that should do it if you're looking to learn how to design with Fusion 360 make sure to check out my online design courses at desktopmakes.com